Time now is 5.43, and this year the Clark County Event Center is offering a contactless way to celebrate Halloween, and it starts tonight. Cor Harlan live this morning to tell us more about the Cinema of Horrors Drive-In. Cor? This sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it, here? Beginning tonight, uh, it'll be 14, <coughs> starting, starting tonight, I should say, it'll be 14 scary horror-type movies through the month of October. Scare flicks in the parking lot of the amphitheater up there at the Clark County Events Center. But uh, in the drive-in movie theater experience that you would uh, normally uh, expect to see there, You'll have people wandering around the parking lot while the movie is going on in costume, dressed up as monsters to give you a taste of the scare house experience, even though the scare houses are mostly down this year. What's the matter, little girl? You scared? If you can't go to the scare house this season, the scare will come to you. <laughs> At the Clark County Amphitheater parking lot, organizers of the Cinema of Horrors are preparing scary movies drive-in style. And the actors who'd regularly be at the haunt house are instead going to be roaming the parking lot of the drive-in, scaring movie watchers as they sit in their own cars. <laughs> we have live actors that are combining to amplify the scares on the screen. We have about 28 actors. And then they're going to be rolling around the grounds and they're going to queue up to all the scary points in the movies to make them even scarier. In the fog of the early morning, we had some of the actors show us what it'll look like watching a scary movie from your car and having someone suddenly pop into your window to bring the fear of the movie right inside the vehicle. And this video from the Cinema of Horrors website gives you a nighttime, more Hollywood look at what the real deal will look like under the veil of nighttime darkness. So as they say, the show will go on and the worst fears of the actors will not be realized. And we just became a big family, so the idea that we weren't going to be able to scare as a family was honestly pretty terrifying. So we're hoping that this event will bring all the family back together, all the Haunt family, and we'll get to do what we do best, which is scare people and have a good time. The 40-foot wide screen will be mounted on top of shipping containers at the end of a parking lot. Sound comes in on the radio. Concessions include brats and Prado pups. You can even have <laughs> monsters deliver them to your car. It's not the hot house you've become accustomed to, but it is the next best thing they could think of. Something new to enjoy this year in the virus era from the comfort of your own car. Or the discomfort of your own car, however that may be going. Uh, they'll start mainly on the weekends here to begin the month of October, Thursday, or uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, the movie list includes things like Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Street uh, Halloween, Friday the 13th, all of the scare classics of the Halloween season. Uh, they'll have a family night, too, coming up this month. That'll include th uh, movies like Ghostbusters, things a little more tolerable for the family. Uh, the actors have masks on underneath the costumes that they will be wearing as they roam the parking lot. So uh, it'll be, you know, kind of COVID safe as well as they're wandering around there. It'll be about $60 a car. Uh, tickets are uh, for sale online only. Go to our website, coin.com. We'll send you a link to that. But that's a nice way to spend uh, some time on a Friday night, rain or shine, the drive-in movie theater, having people kind of ghouling around your car and maybe even delivering you a, a, a brat or a, something to eat as well. It's at the Clark County Fairgrounds. This sounds like a really cool way to adapt and evolve and, and get through the times we're in here to me. You know, Jenny and I were just talking about this during your piece, and mm -hmm. she can't wait to go out there and do this. Mm. She loves all that scary yeah. stuff. A hard pass. I, I mean, good for them. I'm glad they found a, a way to evolve, but uh, no, not for me. <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody creeping up out of your window is a little, probably a little much for, for a, a lot much. of people. Yeah. yeah. Apparently you, <laughs> too. Right? Thanks, yeah, great idea, though. Thanks, Corey. Well,